What's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. It's the 22nd of April, 2018, and as promised, here's a very good friend of mine that I've known for a long time, Rachel Reinstra. Now, several of you already follow her. I've had the pleasure of meeting her, and I've known Rachel for a long time. Her website, her YouTube channel will be in the description, but she has done what nobody else has done thus far. So here it is. Share this video, but leave links back to Rachel's channels. And I am out. Here it is, Rachel Reinstra, again, reporting to you from a very sick state of health. Um, it is now my 10th day of having something that the doctors cannot figure out but I went in and I just got back from the doctor and I want to share it, okay? I want to share it because it validates something that I said for a long time. And it's interesting because a lot of the, let's just say, doctors in the medical field usually dismiss anything that has to do with, um, oh, I don't know, chemtrails or things in the air that you might be breathing that might make you sick. Okay, well, today I have on camera... A doctor telling me exactly not only what he thinks has made me sick or could have made me sick but he's witnessed hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people in California and he has reports of them all over the country getting a certain thing called chemtrail lung and you think I'm joking I'm not I wish I was but I'm not I wanted to share this because it is my 10th day of being sick. I went into the doctor five days ago. This is after trying to beat whatever it is I have. Aches, pains, cough, fever, regular flu stuff, right? So I went five days ago. They stuck this really big, long stick up my nose, and, and I thought, what the hell? I swear to God, it touched my brain, and I don't have much of a brain to spare. Well, that's how they test you for the flu. They do a little swab. Well, it turns out I didn't have the flu, okay? And then I asked him, should you get the flu shot if you're sick? And uh, I got that on camera too. He says, no. No, and he was grateful that I did not have a flu shot because he said more people have been sick that have gotten the flu shot this year than those that have not. All right? That's just one medical doctor's opinion, but I have it. I have it on camera. And the second thing that I want to say is I went five days ago after trying to beat this myself with garlic and lemons and you name it. I have tried everything. Lots of sleep, kept myself healthy. Still, still very, very, very sick. So I finally went back and today he said, um, he said it sounds like it's in your chest. So he took a couple chest x-rays and it came back that I have, um, a form of bronchitis. And I said, how do you think I got this? Well, he said, Rachel, we don't know. We put you on a certain antibiotic, which he did five days ago. I went on Keflex. It did nothing. If anything, it made me worse, which antibiotics most of the time do. So when I came back to him, I said, I'm not any better. And he said, well, we can put you on a different antibiotic called z -Pak. Not guaranteed it's going to help, but it there's so many viruses out there. There's so many bacterial infections. Peace, love, and light to all the queen goddesses, to all the beautiful, lovely star seas, to all my fellow king gods who see the God in us. We see you. We love you. I hope you enjoyed that introduction. That introduction was by Rachel. I'm glad that she recorded that video and provided that video to the public so everyone can see it. However, I'm going to correct and give the true information and in what's actually happening. Now, the doctors now, because everyone noticed this chemtrails is being sprayed in the sky, you have independent doctors or scientists that are, are testing plants and testing the air and see the stuff that's in the air. Now, they want to tell you that it's the chemtrail cough, but it's not the chemtrail cough. That's from red iron oxide dust. That is inflammation on her lungs. That is, they're telling you that they're diseases. They're not diseases. That is, everything is being caused from the red iron oxide dust, the UVB radiation that has increased, and now the UVC that is now ground level. The UVC is changing everything on this planet on a cellular level. Your cells are now separating on everyone, and every natural thing on this planet is now separating. 
Now, one of the things that I want to speak about is the kidney. The kidney and how, how important it is to our vessel and how different it is from us to from all other races on this planet. You don't know when you go to the doctor and you get your kidney checked, there is a test that's called the glomerular filtration rate. That test is um, the amount of urine that your, your kidneys is producing. And you know what's in your urine, all the toxins and stuff that's being pushed out of your body that your body no longer needs. When you urinate and when you defecate, that is that is all pushing out all the toxins in your body that you don't you no longer need. You don't no longer need. However, on the report, it says African American and non African American, which means we are completely different from all other races on this planet. Also I also told you in my previous video that we all learn different here on this planet. Now, me, I like to read books. However, I can't stay in one book for a long time. I have to read a couple chapters in one book, read a couple chapters in another, look at a video, then go outside and get some information from, from nature and the universe. I cannot stay in one book for a long period of time. However, she, Queen Aminette, that's her strong suit. She loves to read. When she get into a book, she can read a book from the beginning to the end. That is her strong suit. Me, I again, I, I go from book to book, and everyone learns differently. Now, she has a feather of her books. Now, she's going to introduce and show you each one of those books. If any of those books that you want her to elaborate on more, then just leave a comment at the bottom. However, she's also going to elaborate more on the kidney and, how, and the importance of it and how it detoxifies our body and cleans everything out of it. Peace, love, and light to all watching this video. Um, I hope that you find it uh, really informative. Um, I'm just going to elaborate a little bit um, on the kidney um, and its function and just how important it is um, to relieve those toxins and stuff out of our body. So we have two kidneys, uh, one on each side, um, and the kidneys are kind of cup-shaped um, like a C. Um, and inside the kidney, you have nephrons, which are just a urine-making unit, and each kidney has uh, about a million um, each. And inside each of these nephrons are um, glomeruli, and what they are, are they are a cluster of blood vessels, so almost like a bunch of grapes. And over each one of these glomeruli or blood vessels, you have a capsule which is called a Bowman capsule. Um, and you have blood that comes from your heart um, down into your kidney to be filtered. And once the blood gets inside that vessel or that glomeruli, um, then it becomes something called filtrate. And it's mixed with water, sodium, potassium, uh, bicarbonate. You have amino acids. And you also have a waste as well mixed in that that needs to be eliminated um, from the body. So you have pressure inside of these capillaries that pushes the filtrate out and pushes it um, into the capsule. And attached to the capsule is a tube. Once the filtrate reaches uh, the tube, you have water and other substances that are reabsorbed um, back into your blood because we need that sodium and that potassium and the amount of urine that we produce um, and eliminate each day, we wouldn't be able to put enough of that into our body to replace it. So um, some, of the, some of that has to be reabsorbed. And then what is not reabsorbed is eliminated um, as urine. Um, and then what you eat and what you drink affects your urine and the composition. Um, as you know, if you drink more water, your urine is a more paler color. And the less water or fluids you drink, your water is, um, excuse me, your urine is a, a darker color. So it's important that we put um, foods and fluids um, into our bodies um, that are natural um, and that is giving us life, um, you know, and not processed foods and all of that stuff. Um, just because uh, with that, um, you know, you have to eliminate those toxins from your body. And when you put all of that stuff inside of your body that's unnatural, um, you cause an imbalance to your body. Um, and you know, our body is um, just like in nature, just like the universe as above, um, so below, um, you know, just now with the universe 
it has to always be um, in balance. Um, and then when it's not in balance, you have sickness, you have you know disease and you have illnesses. Um, and then what we do is we start to look outside to heal ourselves uh, when all we have to do is uh, look within. Um, and this is you know the importance of um, these different charts for reflexology. Um, it is um, kind of like an acupuncture massage and you don't necessarily need um, the needles, but if you put enough pressure um, on the different areas of your hands, the front and the back. Um, this is the foot one. Um, it's a front and a back to the chart. Um, and then also the hand as well. But it gives you different pressure points that you can use to relieve um, inflammation that does cause a lot of um, disease in your body. It helps with the respiratory um, as far as sinuses and colds. Um, it can also help if you're having constipation and other issues um, with your stomach. It can help you um, with mental clarity. Um, so a lot of different things. So it's, you know, very important that we um, just put, you know, the right foods and stuff um, into our bodies. And if you want her to one day you know, read off the chart and show you the chart, specifically the pressure points on your fingers and your hands and some in your ears, um, she would be willing to do that again. You just put just write the notes at the bottom and say hey listen I would like to hear more about this. I would like to hear more about that I just also wanted to just show you the books that I've been reading. Um, this is the um, human body um, book um, It's not you know really big book and it's not all that heavy, but it's very informative um, Also the anatomy and physiology for dummies um, and you know in our people we're not dumb um, at all. It's just a, a simplified um, version of it, but it has all of the systems um, in here. And, it, you know, it's very important. You don't have to, you know, be a doctor or be going to medical school or anything like that. Um, but it does teach you um, about your um, body. And when you know um, thyself, um, then you know that you can also heal thyself. Um, so that's another book. Um, we also have the uh, Pictorial Atlas of um, Acupuncture. And again, you know, you don't need needles or anything like that, but if you apply um, enough pressure, um, it'll work just as well, you know, and you can also meditate um, and do yoga, which is also important too. Um, and then the last book I wanted to show you, uh, which is very important as well, crystals um, are really good because they can also um, help to heal you um, and open up your um, different chakras, your energy centers, um, in your body and get those unblocked. Um, you can, you know, do spiritual baths with them and spiritual drinks. Um, so crystals, which are different minerals and stuff um, that are natural to the earth, um, are very important um, as well. You can even just carry them um, on your body um, with you. Again, so those are the books. If you want to hear me read more out of one, um, just leave a comment below. I am going to continue um, to give you information um, it is important that we learn um, about ourselves. Um, each one, teach one. Like I said to you, stated to you before, this is a great time that we are in. Our ancient ancestors left one rule for us, and the number one rule was know thyself. I hope this, this video was beneficial to you. I hope it was informative to you. Peace, love, and light to all the queen goddesses, to all the beautiful, lovely star seeds, to all the fellow king gods who see the God in us. We see you. And we love you. Till next time.